In this video, I'm going to find the equation of a tangent line for a function that is defined as an integral. So we've got capital F of x is equal to the integral from 4 to x squared of the natural log of t to the third plus 4 dt. And we want to find the equation of that tangent line at x equals 2. So the first thing I need to do is I need to calculate the derivative of the function and I'm going to be doing that using the second uh, fundamental theorem of calculus along with some chain rule on that. So let's calculate that derivative first. So we're going to do the derivative here. So we're going to have capital F prime of x is going to be equal to, all right, now as you recall, second um, fundamental theorem of calculus, we're going to take this x squared, we're going to plug it into our function, and then multiply it by the derivative, and then minus, plugging 4 into the function, and then taking the derivative of that as well. And then notice, noticing that that bottom is a constant, so that whole second term is just going to fall out because the derivative of a constant is 0, so we don't even have to compute that part. So for the part that we do, plugging that in, then I'm going to have the natural log, and let's go to square brackets right here, of x squared to the third power plus 4, and then times the derivative. So let's show that, d dx of the x squared. And then, like I said, minus, plugging 4 in, taking it times the derivative of 4, which is going to be 0, so everything else is just going to fall out there. Now let's do a little bit of simplifying here. Derivative here is going to be a 2x, which I think I'm going to pull in front. Power raised to a power, I'm going to multiply it right there. So my 2x is going to come in front, and then I'm going to have the natural log of an x to the sixth plus 4. So, I have first calculated my derivative. Now I need my derivative at x equals 2. So now we're going to take 2 and plug it in right there. So the derivative at 2 is going to be 2 times 2 times the natural log of 2 to the 6th plus 4. Alright, multiplying here, I'm going to have a 4 out in front. 2 to the 6 plus another 4 is going to give me a 68 there on the inside. So now I have my derivative at 2. That derivative at 2 right there is going to be my slope of my tangent line. So I've got that. Now I need for point slope form, which is just about the easiest one to do, um, I need to find a point. Well, I know it's at x equals 2. All right, so we've got to plug it into that original function to find my point. So let's find our point right here. I'm plugging 2 into the function. So f of 2 then is going to be equal to the integral of 4. Now if I square 2 right there, that's going to give me a 4 of the natural log of t to the third plus 4 dt. All right, now I can evaluate this integral really, really quickly. Just taking a look at those limits, since the upper limit equals the lower limit, then I know that this is 0, Then, which gives my point as 2, 0. So now I'm going to use this point and this slope and write my equation of the tangent line in point-slope form. So equation of tangent line. Uh, y minus 0, so I'm just going to leave it as y, equals to the slope for natural log of 68 times x minus 2. So there is the equation of the tangent line of a function that was defined originally as an integral. And this implemented that second fundamental theorem of calculus right here with that lower limit being a constant which made it really easy to do and then everything else was pretty standard as you would have done with any ordinary function. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks!